Hello, welcome at another tutorial of Dataible Admin Dashboard Template. Here I am going to explain how to set page layouts and other settings like color, icons, sidebar settings, as well as how we can set RTL horizontal layouts as well as box and dark light versions of page layout. So let me quick start it. Here is our default dashboard. I already explained live customizer settings in our previous video. So let I quick start with explanation of page layouts. Here already we have given vertical layouts as well as horizontal box, RTL, light versions, dark version as well as color icon layout. You can directly start from here. You can we have already explained all these things. You can directly copy this page and use it in your project. But here I am explaining all the things in detail. So let we start with code base. I already set up quick start HTML page which we have already created in our previous video. You can see it in quick start video. Here I am going to set all the options in this base layout. So let we start with our first option color option. For that let we open our doc.html which have documentation of the table admin dashboard template. Here I explain all these things about page layouts as well as settings. Go through layout option. There you find all the options about page layouts like vertical, horizontal, box layout, RTL, light version as well as dark and color layout. You can also the other settings here, page background. You can see that in right side preview of in background menu background this one is sidebar main navigation layout option menu background images this is our brand new page layout option which contain images okay so let we quick start with our code base this is our code base of quick start.html so let we add some colors here we are going to add brand color as well as header color as well as the sidebar full colors. So how to do that? Go through documentation. Here you set different colors. Let me first start with header background. You can see that there are more options here. Let I going to add blue background. Just copy header desk blue. Here you see that. Let me check. Okay, that's pretty simple. Now I can add some colors here inside bar. So let again go to documentation. Here you see that main background. I'm going to add purple color here. Here all the details how to set the color color set in navigation good it's pretty simple now I'm going to add some brand color here so what to do now go to documentation there is a brand color like uh, I want red dark color there going to add brand color here brand sorry brand dash dark going to press here sorry yes it's so pretty add more colors here like uh, go to documentation I'm going to add Dark color there. Let's say headed is dark. Call. Let's say press the page. You can see how it is easy to change the colors. Okay, that's all about color. Now I'm going to change the entire layout. Like I don't want colors here. So I want light version of page so how to do that 
let I undo all these things. Okay, I'm done. Light was there like this. How to do that? It's pretty simple. Just go to documentation. There you find light layout, right? They clearly see that add menu dash light here in navigation. So we need to add menu dash light. That's good. Let refresh it. Done. Now adding some colors here, like blue, which you saw in our pre-bit layout. Like this. Here I am going to add some colors as well as light blue color in header as well as in brand color too. I am going to add documentation. We will find various options like light blue. Okay. I'm just going to add light blue color and header. That's the let me add some brand blue color. And then in brand color, light blue. Just save it and replace it. Okay, now, now I'm going to add some color here. How to do that? Go to on documentation, there you found color layout. There you add icon color class in navigation. Surface it. Wow, this looks pretty nice. So, this is all about light version. So, how to do it in dark version? So, let me start with documentation first. There you found dark layout. There you said that put dark style set link is below to the style.css. Let me just copy it. Or you can directly copy that dark layout version here. Now, let me check the changes. Okay, you can see that all the page layout is now going to use dark, but sidebar is still in light version. So, how to do that? That I'm going to change in header bar, navigation bar. Just add class new bar. Sorry, you can find that class in documentation too. Here I am going to remove menu dislike. Let me check the changes. Sorry, yes, I am done. Now I am going to add some brand color here. Let me add red color. I'm going to change header color and add the band color. This one is band color. This looks pretty nice. So this is all about page setting, like how to change page colors and page layouts. Now I'm going to discuss how you can directly add call ops menu in your page layout so how to do that just check in documentation they refine call ops menu how to do that include new dash new bar dash call ops in new tag so now we do it just add that tag class in new tag let me refresh it let's check the changes wow the menu is now collapsed that's pretty simple. Now I'm going to describe different settings of page like RTM, menu fix, header fix, box level. So first let me start with header fix as well as menu fixed or not. See the settings in here by default or navigation bar is fixed. You can see that navigation bar is fixed right let me first 
it will be color for now. Check the changes. Right. The sidebar is fixed now. And, uh, how we can unfix it? Yes, last it. Let me check the changes. You can see that navigation menu item scrolls down when I scroll. Now we see that header is also scroll down, but I want to fix header right now. So how we can do it? Then do it the first. Preview setting. Here I'm going to fix a header bar. Just copy this class and add it in header tag. Just check the settings. Now you see that the header is fixed now. Let him add some color here. I'm adding red color. Let me press it and check the changes. You can see that. Header is fixed now. Let me remove this. It's not fixed. This is pretty simple. Now I'm going to describe how to make RTL version as well as box version. So let me first start with RTL version. This is how RTL page look like. It's all content right, right to left. It's pretty easy to add the RTL version in our page. Let's see the documentation first. The refined RTL version. Just add RTL CSS here below the style.css. Just press the page. Whole page is now RTL. Let them add collapse menu here. So, in documentation, you will find collapse menu. Add this class in navigation tag. Press the page. It's too good. Right? So, now I'm going to add box layout just undo all the changes go to in documentation there you find box layout just add this class in body I'm going to add class in body That's all about colors as well as page layouts. Now I'm just undo this last things. We add our brand new layout navigation image. So just first go to documentation, then you found background image. You can select any of image here that I'm going to select second image just add this class into navigation tab just increase the page check the changes wow you can see that images added but you see that menu item not visible right now so I'm going to add some light version there. Just remove menu light color. Refresh it. You can see that 
when was now visible i'm going to uh, get some red to more attractive wow remove the red color and add some blue color there wow it's pretty simple it looks amazing and collapse too Okay, this is about image layout and sidebar so now i'm going to describe one more things about extra settings how you can change menu drop down icon sub menu icons active colors new title colors as well as title caption show or hide so all these settings are in documentation too you can check that in here that is menu list icon that i am going to add this one just add this class into navigation tag here it is just save it and refresh it let's see that this time second let's press it see that now i'm going to add some more style in drop down menu documentation that you find menu list icon sorry it's a menu drop down icon i'm just going to copy this in navigation tab Save it. Refresh it. Okay, yes, there you see that. Perfect. Now I'm going to add some colors like uh, menu caption title color, navigation tag. Just save it and check that. You can see the effect here. Now I am going to change the active color. Red color. Just add it in navigation tab. Save it. Press it. You can see that active color here. By default, it is a dark. Now it's a red. So this is about extra settings. One more thing is main title hide also. How can you do that? You can also delete that from your code as well as you can directly add class here. The class is caption on hide. Refresh. You see that caption, all caption are going to hide. But I undo it. See that caption is come back. So this is about extra settings, which is showing like question. Now one more thing is horizontal layout. How can you do that? You can directly copy that code from this page, or else you can get help from documentation. Refine horizontal. Here is a navigation tag. Let me copy it first. Delete and replace it. Okay, that is. Let me copy and get it. Save it. And refresh it. Okay, that is our horizontal layout. But you see that there is an issue in the. There is a lot space here. One more step is just add script. 
bottom of the page. I'm going to add some quick here as well as few few lines of code. Just save it. Check the changes. You can see that all things are right now. It's perfectly working above horizontal version. You can also change the colors here. Like I previously described here, how to change header color and navigation color. So this is all about how to set page layouts and other settings of pages like colors, icons, sidebar settings as well as different types of layout, RTL version, horizontal box layout as well as dark light versions of that sidebar navigation. Thank you for watching.